So I hope the message is clear. Slow down. You'll get there. You know what grinds my gears? People at all way stops. There are non-stop mistakes. Why do people mess up at them? Let's try to figure out why. The rule is whoever stops first gets to go first. It's not whoever gets there first, it's whoever comes to a complete stop, completely stop, gets to go first. Then, if it's a tie, your more aggressive driver is going to take it first. In the rule book, if you go read it, it states that it's a courtesy to let the person on the right go first, but it's not a rule. Once whoever stops first goes first, if it's a tie, the more aggressive driver is going to take it. Then, if you're the person who's hesitating in this tie situation, you're going second. It means the same exact thing. So, if there's no conflicts between two people, they can go at the same time. You don't have to wait for the person coming the other direction to come to a complete stop for you to go. You stopped first, you see them slowing down, start to enter. Don't wait for them to stop all the way. It drives us crazy. So, read the communication, what people are doing. If they're slowing down, they're stopping, start to enter. All right, so where do people mess up the most? They don't stop all the way. says stop not roll through me if nobody's around you still have to stop and then proceed if it's clear why is it important because if two people roll stop at the same time how do you know who goes first think of grandpa or grandma who think they stopped roll through it and then they cut you off because you stop first all obviously but they think they stopped and then they just cut you off and then they go for it and they don't even think twice they're just like oh it's okay nobody's gonna hit me i'm going slow it doesn't work that way then our other scenario is people waving on waving on is a horrible horrible habit for people to develop try never to wave somebody on if it's your turn to go just go ahead and go if you're gonna wait don't wave them on what happens is you wave somebody on they stop looking they go for it they get hit by something or they run something over so don't wave people on people it's not okay just let them figure it out so let's say that somebody does wave you on and it was a tie that means that they want to hesitate yes you can accept that wave on and enter Let's say that somebody waved you on after they had clearly stopped before you. Never accept this. Ignore it. Don't wave them on. Just wait for them to figure it out. They'll get impatient and they'll just go. Um, and that's how you handle that scenario where somebody waves you on even though it was clearly their turn to go first. What can happen is when you go for it, they suddenly start to enter and they hit you and they can claim they never waved you on insurance fraud which is very rare but it does happen a lot of people are nice when it comes to always stops but don't accept the wave on if it is not your turn to go your other thing is whenever you approach approach an always stop you have to get all the way to the line and stop there you can't do it early and try to beat somebody to that stopping point and be like oh I stopped first you actually got to get to that line first so there's another scenario then there's new drivers. A lot of new drivers mess up because they don't read the intersection before they get there. They get to the stop, they stop all the way, and then they start figuring out, oh, what type of intersection am I at? So they stop twice. Absolutely drives us crazy. So let me remind you, read the intersection, look for the little thing that says all way underneath the stop sign. That'll help you out. Not all of them are marked, but generally most of them are. So if you go to a new area, just to see, all right, who has stop signs, who doesn't, as you approach it. Then when you figure it out, yeah, make your full stop and keep track of who had stopped before you. And that makes it a whole lot easier. Don't look for the traffic that's moving already. Just look for the traffic that had already stopped and that should help to know which one goes first. Now, if you're in doubt, yeah, let that person on the right go first but only in doubt. It's not a rule. It's just when in doubt. 
All right, when you do know it's your turn to go, if you don't show a little movement, people are gonna keep taking your turn. So it's always good to just show that little bit of movement, not acceleration, just off brake. That way people know it's your turn next. And that way, when you do go for it, people aren't gonna take it from you. So don't just be an idiot and gun it out of nowhere because then people are gonna get confused. So show that little bit of movement and you'll have an easier time. What I think people, where they're going wrong at stop signs is most people think they stopped. I drove with an older man one day and I was telling him, you didn't stop at that stop sign. And he was convinced, I stopped at that stop sign. No, you didn't, man. And you need to stop all the way. What he ended up doing was what I was talking about earlier, where he thought he stopped and he just kept going in front of this car who honked at us. And I was just telling him like, yeah, you gotta stop all the way so that people don't hit you. Um, so. What I'm saying here is know the difference between what is a stop and what feels like a stop. Once you figure that out, you should be a whole lot better. Most of you think you're so smooth that you came to a full stop because you were smooth, so smooth. Let me tell you, you are not that smooth. There was only one student that I had this last year who she was so smooth about stopping that she took a little bit longer than most, but she stopped all the way. Sorry to say it, everybody, but you're probably not as smooth as this young girl that I'm talking about. Make sure you stop all the way, keep track of who stopped before you, and then you should be okay at the always stops. Okay, so last thing is don't be like old people. Stop once and put your blinders on. That is not okay. As you go through the intersection, you should still continue to look for those people that might just come out of nowhere and try to take your turn from you. Because if you miss it, you guys are getting in a collision. So keep aware at always stops and just know that a lot of people are gonna be messing up at them and that you, get, you gotta just try and do the best that you can and prevent the collision. Good luck, I hope you learned something from this video and I hope it helps you out on figuring out what you should be doing at your always stops. Practice, practice, practice and you got this.